Satnam. A Kundalini meditation to develop your radiant body. I think we all know what the word radiance means, and that's what this particular Kundalini Kriya meditation helps to do, is it helps to make you radiant. So that in the darkest of the darks, or the lightest of the lights, your radiance will shine through. This is a very long mantra meditation. And it's a somewhat challenging physical position to do, but the combination of the two are just fantastic to do them. And I encourage you to put some effort in. The more effort you put into this, the more rewards you'll start to feel from doing this. People will start noticing you. Good fortune will start coming your way. In fact, Yogi Bhajan said, if you're down in the dumps and you're at your lowest of your low, even just chanting this mantra will just turn the tables, turns everything around. Each and every single syllable that you say, and it'll take you some time to learn how to say them. Do the best you can today. It'll take you some time. It's called the Ik Achari Chand. Ikachari Chand Mantra. And it was written by the 10th Sikh Guru, Guru Gobind Singh. And it's long. Each and every syllable is a vibration in and up to itself. And using it in a manner in which can and does provide you the break that you need to break through, to elevate, to uplift. All in one mantra. Why don't we tune in? I'll explain how we'll do it, and we'll do it for 11 minutes. Let's tune in with the Adi Mantra, which is Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Recited three times prior to the beginning of every Kundalini meditation and Kriya, so that we may tie ourselves into the golden chain of yogis so that we may show our respect, our reverence, our appreciation for the information that has come our way, and that we may use it to enhance ourself and those around us. So sit tall, chest out, chin in, close your eyes. Take in a long, slow, deep breath. And then exhale. Another long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale. And a long, deep breath in as we begin Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Deep breath. Om. Last time, inhale deep. Um. Okay, so here's how it goes. <clears throat> the position, there's a mudra, a mudra for this position. You're going to just interlace your fingers. You're going to interlace your fingers. But what you don't want is you don't want the fingers to get sloppy. You want to extend the fingers back as much as you can and kind of tuck, tuck the thumbs in. So the thumbs come in like this 
these fingers extend. You're going to take this position with your palms facing downwards and you're going to bring this so that your arms are behind your head. So, <clears throat> in this position, so it's not here, it's not here, it's not over the head, it's behind the head so that there's an alignment coming down through here as we position our hands like this. And that's what we hold. So we're going to hold that position. Now, in order to accomplish that and to do it well, you kind of kind of want to take your shoulder blades and squeeze them back as you pull your elbows back a little bit. Now, it may seem like a lot that you're going to do it for 11 minutes, but in truth, if you fall into the meditation of the mantra, the vibration, the sound current, the shabbat, if you fall into that nod, the physical part of it's really, it's very easy. The mantra is long. Aja ala aba aba abu aju anas akas. A gunj a bunj a luck a buck a kal de al a lake a bake. A nam a kam a gaha a daha a nate paramati a joni a moni. Narage, narange, narupe, nareke, a kanaman, a banaman, a ganje, a leke. I know, it's a freight train of a mantra. It is. It's really, really long, but it's so beautiful when you start to listen to it and really when you start to learn how to do it. How I did it is I had to write each one of these words out phonetically because there's just no way I was going to remember all of that. So I wrote them all out phonetically. Not how they were spelled, but phonetically, so that I could understand them and to be able to recite them. And that's what I did. I wrote them out on a sheet of paper and I would just go over them and over and over and over and, until I got it. Today, do the best you can with it. We're going to do it for 11 minutes. So you're going to sit tall, your eyes are going to be closed. You can either just keep them closed or roll your attention up to the brow point or even put your attention above your hands. This is also been called the <clears throat> reverse Adi Shakti mantra, which means Adi, Adi Shakti means that we are, we're blessing, blessing things that are outside of us. It's a blessing, a blessing for ourselves in an internal way that we can increase our radiance. And by increasing our radiance, we allow things to come to us, just like a beacon in the night. People are drawn to that. Events are drawn to that. Circumstances are drawn to that. So radiance, we, we develop this radiant body so that we don't have to go out and chase everything in life things come to us. And that's what you're developing right here, your radiant body. So 11 minutes, we're going to do this. So get ready, sit tall. I'm going to be listening to Aja Allah. This is by the Meditative Mind. You can find this on Amazon Music. You can find it on iTunes. <clears throat> sit tall, interlace your fingers, stretch your fingers back. Make sure you stretch your fingers back. Thumbs, kind of tuck them in. Bring them up over your head. Do the best you can with this mantra. Close your eyes. Anamakam agadaha anate paramati ajoni amoni narage narange narupe nareke akanaman abanaman aganje aleke. Sit tall, close your eyes, chest out, chin in. Make sure your fingers are straight, straight. You don't want them being bent down. Make them straight as they're crossed into each other. Anate paramati. Ajoni amoni 
Narage, Narange, Narupe, Nareke, A Kanaman, a Banaman, a Ganji, a Lake. Keep your elbows back. Keep your hands behind your neck. Sit tall, chest out, chin in. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Ele, a be, a be, a boo, a ju, a nas, a cas, a gunj, a bunch, a luck, a puck, a caldea, a lake, a bake, a nam, a cam, a ga, a da, a nate, paramate, a joni, a moni. Narage, narange, narupe, nareke, a kanaman, a banaman, a ganje, a leke. Be precise in your position of your body with the hands. Be precise with the words. Each and every word is breaking through a barrier. Be, be, abu, aju, anasakas. A ganja bunch, a luck a buck, a caldea, a lake a bake, a nam a cam, a gada, a nate paramati, a joni a moni, narage narange narupe nareke, a kanaman a ganaman a ganje a leke. Say the words with the same reverence and same delicatenesses that you would do with a loved one. Sit tall, keep the head straight, hands behind the neck. Let them float. A ganja bunch, a luck a buck, a caldea, a lake a bake, a nam a cam, a gada, a nate paramati, a joni a moni, narage narange narupe nareke, a kanaman a banaman a ganje a leke. To help sit tall, push your bottom into the floor, into the mat. That'll help you to keep your chest out, your chin in. Ale, a be, a be, a boo, a ju, a nas, a kas, a gunj, a bunj, a luck, a buck, a caldea, a lake, a bake. Anamakam, a gada, a nate paramanti, a joni, a moni, narage, narange, narupe, nareke, a kanaman, a banaman, a ganje, a leke. To help keep your fingers straight, push the nails into the opposite palm. It'll help keep the precision of the mudra. Ele, abe, abe, abu, aju, anasakas, a ganja bunj, a luck, a buck, a caldea. A lake, a bake, a nam, a cam, a gada, a nate, paramate, a joni, a moni, narage, narange, narupe, nareke, a kanaman, a banaman, a ganje, a leke. Sit tall, be present. Float. 
Hele, habe, habe, habu, aju, anasakas, a ganja bunch, a luck, a buck, a caldea, a lake, a bake, a namakam, a gada, a nate paramati, a joni, a moni, Narage, narange, narupe, nareke, a kanaman, a banaman, a ganje, a leke. If you're starting to shake, vibrate a little bit, that's your nervous system responding, completely natural. Go with it. Jale, a bear, a bear, a boo, a jew, a nas, a cas, a gunja bunch, a luck, a buck, a caldea, a lake, a bake, a nam, a calm, a gada, a nati, paramati. A joni, a moni, narage, narange, narupe, nareke, a kanaman, a banaman, a ganje, a leke. Don't worry what you sound like, your voice is unique. You don't have to be a professional singer in order to say the words. Ele, a be, a be, a bu, a ju. Anasakas, a ganja bunch, a luck, a buck, a caldea, a lake, a bake, a namakam, a gada, a nate paramanti, a joni, a moni, narage, narange, narupe, nareke, a kanaman, a banaman, a ganje, a leke. The importance is the reverence that you bring to the words, the devotion, the gratefulness. Keep those fingers straight, elbows back, sit tall, chest out, chin in, feet tall. We're almost there. Ele, a be, a be. A boo, a ju, a nas, a cas, a ganja bunch, a luck, a buck, a caldea, a lake, a bake, a nam, a cam, a gada, a nate, paramati, a joni, a moni, narage, narange, narupe, nareke, a kanaman, a banaman, a ganje, a leke. Jale, a be, a be, a bu, a ju, a nas, a kas, a ganje bunch, a luck, a buck. A caldea, a lake, a bake, a nam, a cam, a gada, a nate, paramante, a joni, a moni, narage, narange, narupe, nareke, a kanaman, a banaman, a ganje, a leke. Now inhale deep. Straighten out the hands, straighten out the elbows so that they're over the head. Inhale deep and hold the breath. Keep the arms straight over the head, fingers still interlaced. Exhale. Inhale again deep, hold the breath. Squeeze and reach. Squeeze and reach. Exhale. Last time, inhale deep. Hold the breath, reach tall, exhale, 
exhale the breath now unleash your fingers and shake your arms over your head just shake them shake 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 and relax your arms down Just relax. Put your hands on your knees, fold your hands in your lap. Just sit for a moment. Okay, so key points to remember with this meditation the fingers when they're in this interlaced position if you take the, the the nails of our fingers and if you push them into the opposite palm that'll help to keep your fingers straight because you want your fingers straight and the thumbs they're going to come join i've seen this meditation where the thumbs point outward i like it i think this way better <clears throat> But what's important is the fingers stay straight. They don't get sloppy. They don't, they don't get sloppy. They stay straight. So the precision of this mudra is this, that the fingers are just nice and straight and that they're behind the head, behind the head, floating somewhere, you know, six or eight inches or so, but behind. That means you have to keep your elbows back, chest out, bring your shoulder blades backwards, and that'll help maintain the position. And then learn the mantra, Ik Achari Chand, Ik Achari Chand. Again, it was written in um, by the 10th Guru, Sikh Guru, Guru Govind Singh. And it is a way to help you break through whatever barriers may be in front of you. It's a way to help uplift your spirits and it's a recognition that you are more than being down in the dumps. Develop your radiant body, become that beacon, allow things to come to you. The blessings of the universe await. As always, I wish you well. Satnam.